Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this one is going to be a bit uh, difficult to structure, but uh, let me explain. So, those of you who have seen the how to recycle video are still waiting for an explanation why recycling T3 pigeons and putting them into support ACUs, uh, RAS support ACUs, is a form of downcycling rather than upcycling. And I'm going to uh, use this as a basically start to uh, introduce you to the concept of mass equivalent units and uh, this is going to be some math so uh, I don't like numbers and uh, that's why I'm not going to record this video twice if there's anything wrong with it then uh, I'll fix it in the description or in the comments but uh, please forgive me if I'm not going to record this twice and after we have introduced the concept of mass equivalent units uh, we are going to take a look at the RAS and ARAS before and after uh, the last couple of patches. So right now we are on uh, 3663 uh, three, and before we were on 3658 and uh, the patches that uh, happened in the meantime uh, changed the RAS and we are taking uh, this model to take a look at uh, what exactly has changed, right? And that's uh, also answering one of your questions you know, from a previous video. And uh, in the end, we are going to uh, derive some uh, practical implications, right? So if you don't like the math, then just uh, skip towards the end. But I think uh, the concept of mass equivalent units is uh, very interesting. So you should at least uh, hear it once, right? So we start with a concept. And um, the whole idea is that uh, in the late game, you can uh, build T2 mass fabricators, and they're going to and produce one mass per uh, second and they're going to consume 150 power per second and, and the idea of mass equivalent units is to say that uh, this is the cheapest way of artificially creating mass if you don't have mass points right and that's why we take this as uh, the measure for uh, basically for the idea that mass and power are the same right so if we uh, take a look at mass, we just say that one mass is the same as one mass equivalent unit. And if we take a look at power, we just say that 150 power is uh, the same as one mass equivalent unit again. Right? So we are eliminating the difference between mass and power uh, by the simple model to uh, pretend they are the same and to calculate with them. So um, some of you are probably going to say that this is complete bullshit. And uh, you have a point that uh, actually is complete bullshit because, um, well, if you will T2 mass fabricators, they're usually adjacent to something and these values don't make sense. And uh, the number of games where T2 mass fabricators become relevant are uh, quite low, right? But uh, just uh, pretend that this concept makes sense, right? This has weaknesses, I know, but this is just a model after all, right? So we just take this as a model and uh, that's it, okay? And, and now we can basically calculate uh, the mass equivalent unit cost of uh, the T3 power generator and the support SU. And basically, um, this uh, whole calculation works like this. You take the mass value of the T3 power generator, which you can see on the bottom left, and uh, you also take uh, the power value and you uh, start with the mass value and then you add the power value divided by uh, 150 and uh, the sum of that is going to be uh, the 3624 mass equivalent units and that's your cost right and you do the same for the uh, RAS preset support ACU and uh, your cost is going to be uh, 7231 mass equivalent units and you can already see that this is like uh, double the cost right don't have to do uh, crazy math, you can just uh, round it and it's going to be double the cost. And uh, we can compute the output the same way. So we take this value and uh, we divide it by uh, 150. And that's our mass equivalent unit output of the T3 pigeon. And we do a similar calculation here. So we take uh, the 11 uh, mass, this is uh, outputting per second, and we are also taking the 1000. Uh, 20 power, but this 1020 power we first divide by 150, then we add those two together, and uh, our output is going to be 
uh, almost 18 uh, mass equivalent units per second, right? So you can see that uh, basically the output of this and this is almost the same, but uh, the cost is going to uh, is going to double, right? That's the idea. And if you uh, take a look at the break-even point, that's going to happen at uh, like uh, 218 seconds, uh, which is uh, like around 3 minutes and 40 seconds. And uh, for the support ACU, it's uh, almost double of, the, uh, of that uh, break-even point time, right? So this takes a double as long to repay its own cost than this in the mass equivalent unit consideration. And that's why uh, recycling this and putting it into this is, uh, economically speaking, actually worse, right? You may still prefer this because this has build power, this has more HP, and this can move. But uh, it's still a form of downcycling, right? Because you are getting less uh, output after reclining this and putting it into this. And that's the whole idea, right? And I guess now we can uh, move on to the RAS. So the cost of the RAS is always the same, and uh, you calculate it the same way as before. I don't have to explain it again, I think. And if you do the math, then you end up with uh, 6,167 mass equivalent units in cost. And that's just for the RAS, right? That's not for the ARAS. That's a single RAS, and uh, it's not upgraded here, but whatever. And, and basically, uh, we take this uh, cost as a basis uh, and we take a look at uh, the output values, right? And we start with Aeon and before the patch that changed RAS, uh, the output and mass equivalent units was uh, 36. And uh, these 36 are actually consistent across the faction. So the only one that is a bit uh, worse is Cybrin with uh, 35.33 uh, uh, mass equivalent units per second. But uh, that's honestly not going to matter, because uh, it's less than one, right? So, who cares? But uh, in the uh, patch that changed the RAS, uh, the situation is uh, changing quite drastically, because we are uh, here losing an output of 7 mass equivalent units per second. Uh, we are losing one of 5, 5.5, uh, losing one of 5.3, uh, and we are losing one of, uh, of 7 again, right? So. To give you some uh, some idea and put this uh, whole thing into perspective, uh, the old Aeon uh, ACU is going to repay its old cost and mass equivalent units uh, within uh, 171 seconds, right? And now it's going to take 210 seconds to repay its own cost and mass equivalent units. So that's 40 seconds more, or uh, if you want to have a relative number, that's going to uh, take 23% longer to uh, repay its own cost uh, after this patch, right? So that's uh, quite a lot that changed, actually. And uh, what does it mean for gameplay? What does it mean for airplay, right? Uh, basically, uh, this is uh, the consideration for 3663, that's almost wrong. And what you did with the ARAS faction, uh, basically Aeon and Seraphim, which had the second uh, RAS, you upgrade both uh, RAS, and before uh, the last patch, you will always reclaim your T2 power and put uh, the T2 power into the ARAS, right, to get it faster. But now, if you want to go for uh, ASFs and strats, you may have to keep your uh, T2 power. That's basically the uh, entire uh, implication from this uh, math and if you used to play a RAS faction uh, basically what you did before uh, was usually um, like you kept your uh, T2 power anyways and uh, then you would usually build a T3 power generator and uh, reclaim your T2 power after that right and that's how you uh, ended up with uh, okayish eco right and uh, now you would basically keep your T2 power and uh, you would also uh, keep the T3 power and not reclaim the T2 power. So that's basically a very uh, s uh, simple finding, right? You just uh, keep the power generators and have the same eco as before in terms of power. Of course, your overall, uh, overall uh, mass balance is going to be uh, worse than before because you could not uh, reclaim the, because you cannot reclaim the T2 power, but uh, you're just going to have to make up for it by being more efficient with your use of air or you have to uh, reclaim more, right? 
but uh, that's uh, not too difficult actually. And uh, the second change to RAS and ARAS is the build time. And previously, um, most people uh, use the build power of the ACU and uh, one engineer to upgrade uh, RAS. And that's what uh, people use for uh, like uh, maybe two or three uh, T2 power generators, right? And if there was uh, like a lot of team overflow, you could uh, even double assist it with one exercise engineer. And basically what changed now is that uh, the RAS is uh, not as fast to upgrade uh, in uh, terms of build power or like build time. So you would uh, simply treat three T1 engineers and your ACU um, as if they were the same as just the ACU and one engineer. So this is for the old uh, patch environment and this is for the new patch environment and it's going to upgrade at uh, roughly the same speed. Of course not here because uh, this is the new patch environment but uh, theoretically, if we could still uh, play the old patch, uh, we could uh, start these two upgrade procedures at the same time, and they would also end at the same time. Right? So um, I hope you learned something. Uh, I'm looking forward to the uh, shitstorm of uh, comments that are uh, complaining about the concept of mass equivalent units. Uh, I didn't come up with this, and uh, I can see how it's uh, wrong in some ways but it's also a little useful uh, if you know the drawbacks of this model and uh, you're okay with uh, a non-ideal model basically so um thanks for watching and uh, sorry for the math and uh, good luck have fun in your games